Welcome back, gamers, to another e episode of Let's Play Alter Ego. This is your host, SKS, along with the journey of my super life. The life that I would have lived if I was drinking tequila and cranberry and doing so. So let's see here. Let's do an intellectual bubble. All of your friends are skipping class and they want you to come along too. Hmm, interested, disinterested. Well, I'm a freaking genius, so I think I could skip class once. So let's be interested and skip class. Your status on the trustworthiness character suggests that you are not the type of person who does this sort of thing frequently. As a result, you experience no negative emotional consequences, except for a slight decrease in the calmness characteristics. Since you are so trustworthy, an action like this is bound to make you a little nervous about getting caught. Well, true. Da -da -da! You have just passed through the adolescence phase of life. Family life can be very rough. Man, again, every time I end the video and start again, I go to the next level. Family life can be very rough during adolescence. Even though your family expects you to take charge of your life, no one wants to let you have the freedom that you want. You, Judging by your project's progress through life so far, your family life has been quite good, all things considered. Family members can be pains, but no one seems to mind it when you overhaul your hair for three hours every morning in the bathroom. Physically, if you have been a healthy young man, your body image may have been a little bit of concern to you during this phase, but you seem strong physically. Socially, this phase of life does present its share of problems. Most of these problems fall into the category of girls. Life must have been pretty simple before they showed up. Your social adjustment to this phase of life has been remarkable. Yeah. Although you do not have a steady girlfriend at the present time, there's always the next life phase. Excuse me with that. Now regarding your emotional development. You are a remarkably trustworthy young man. This trait is bound to, t bound to take you far, emotionally and vocationally. You are developing into the type of adult that people can confide in. Unfortunately, the burden that comes along with this characteristic is the tendency for people to tell you their problems. Mm -hmm. It looks as though you've had your share of testing the limits and done things in the spur of the moment. It also looks like some of these things haven't really turned out for the better. Risk taking is a large part of this phase of life. You should take care of that. You don't let it evolve into a plain old foolishness later. You seem to be enjoying most of what you do. Even though you experience the blues every once in a while, it's nice to see that you are not having a depressed, traumatized life. Even though an occasional explosive outburst is common in most adolescents, you seem to have everything well under control. You seem to be sensitive and gentle. <laughs> okay. You certainly have a good head on your shoulders. You're not only book smart, but you have plenty of common sense. Now that your adolescence is almost over, it's time to be hurled into the abyss of the real world. I bet you didn't know that everything you did so far was part of the fake world. Oh, crap. Welcome to young adulthood. The desire accomplished is sweet to the soul. Proverbs. Chapter 13, verse 19. Well, we are in adulthood. Look at all these hearts. Holy shit. Lots of physical things. Um, well, we have some new bubbles here. We have purchase. We can buy things. Relationships. School. Uh, work. Children. Marriage. Oh, shit. Um, I'm just dating Ruth. I didn't... I just started college. I mean, you know... Uh, Let's look at everything. Um, familia, 88. Intellectual, 100. Physical, social, vocational. Calmness is 8. <laughs> Fuck Drake! <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that, gamers. Um, everything else looks like it's about right. So, let's hit next. and um, Let's see. Let's enroll in college. Yes. What kind of college would you like to attend? Low admissions, moderate, high. We're going to go high. You've met the qualifications for this school. You're now enrolled. Your resources will decrease by $100 every time you access the college icon. This will cover tuition and college-related costs. You will need 12 college experiences to graduate. Sweet. All right, let's go down here. I want to do these four, and then we'll jump into college. A wild driver cuts you off on the highway. You know, it happens. Um, I'm going to be calm and let him go. The person is a crazy man. He had a gun and would have tried to kill you if you messed with him. You were smart to hold your temper even though you would have liked to run him off the road. Oh, well, um, okay. Next. 
You're in a large department store shopping for some clothing. When you, live, when you left the house this morning, you didn't have time to shave, so you look just a bit on the grubby side. You have a question for the salesperson, but you can't seem to attract his attention. Every time you say, excuse me, he says, just a minute, sir, and chats with another salesperson about what seems to be a social matter rather than a business, business matter. Well, um, I'm going to be angry, and I'm going to interrupt his conversation with the other person. What would you like to say to interrupt the conversation? Hey, you. I'm talking to you. Excuse me, are you deaf or you just ignore me? Hey, excuse me, buddy. I'm getting pretty impatient here waiting for you to do your job. I'm a smart ass. I'm going to do that. The salesperson looks at you and gives you an obvious sneer. Before he helps you, he turns to the person whom he was talking to and says in a voice loud enough for you to hear, Some people are so uncivilized. <laughs> Get the manager, leave the store, grab him by the shirt and threaten him. Um, let's get the manager. He is the manager. What would you like to do? Uh, leave the store and write a strong letter to the company who owns the store. Grab him and threaten him. Leave the store and refuse to shop there again. You know what? Fuck him. Leave the store and refuse. This doesn't bother them one bit. Besides, I get the feeling they didn't want you in there in the first place. Fortunately, you're smart enough to leave the store before doing something impulsive like punching the salesperson. Your biggest mistake was to approach the salesperson in a hostile manner. You could have tried a more assertive approach instead. And where would that have got me? Nowhere. Nowhere at all. Alright, so let's go next. Alright, let's do one of these physical ones. Oh. Excuse me, gamers. I was answering something. You haven't had a physical checkup for quite some time. Uh, concerned, unconcerned. Well, if it's been a while, I'm going to be a little concerned about it. So let's go to the doctor. The period between adolescence and early childhood is, or early adulthood, excuse me, is one of the life periods that poses the least threat to people physically. The doctor checks you over from head to toe. The examination re results show your blood pr pressure is a bit on the high side, probably from drinking. This is probably because you are the anxious type. You need to slow your pace a bit. You run the risk of getting a heart attack early in life. That's not good at all. I don't like to hear that. Thank you for that awesome... You're going to die. Here, have a physical. You just won $250 in a fishing tournament. Fuck yeah, that's how we do it in Tucky, boys. Oh, that was it? That was... Really? Okay. Let's go to college. Uh, I need to choose a major. Liberal arts, natural sciences, social sciences, business, engineering. Um, I only learned this because I watched Grimace pl Let's Play. Uh, social sciences deals more with social studies and like, uh, you know, your geography and your sociology and psychology and all that stuff. So we're going to go there. You're obviously interested in people. Attitudes and the study of life is an experience. You don't become soured by cynicism. You may gain great insight into yourself and others. Unless you intend to teach or go to graduate school, you may have a difficult finding a job with the same rewards that your course of study pro provides. Well, that's awesome, because you know what? I'm in graduate school right now. So, huh, my alter ego is turning into my ego. All right. I've hit next. My browser is going slow. AT&T Internet sucks for anybody out there who wanted to know. All right, college experiences. Have a college experience. Warning, this episode contains subject matter of a sexual nature. Gamers, I have been waiting the whole game for this stuff. Here we go. Yes. There's a concert in the student center, and you've made arrangements to go with your friend Bobby and his new girlfriend Linda. You were supposed to meet them in Bobby's dorm room, and then go with them to pick go then go with them to pick up your date. You arrive on time, but notice Bobby and Linda are in a bit rumpled in appearance. It seems that you have interrupted a romantic interlude. Gamers, I only laugh at this because I know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby excuses himself so that he can shower and get ready for the concert. Linda is still glassy-eyed from tumbling around the room with Bobby. There is a moment of uncomfortable silence after Bobby walks down the hall to the showers. Linda moves close to you and tells you that you have a bad sense of timing. She leans toward you and inquires if you would like to finish what Bobby started. Hmm. Well, you can either finish what Bobby started or tell Linda you wouldn't do that to a friend. This is college. And I hate to tell you all, but Bobby 
If Bobby was good, he would have already been done. So let's finish what Bobby started. Linda gives you a long, sensuous kiss and pushes you down on the bed. The door creaks over. The showers are being used and Bobby had to wait a while before using them. When he sees the two of you, he kicks you both out. Do you want to start seeing this girl regularly? Um, no. I was just trying to get a piece. She might be a bit too wild, even for a Casanova like you. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun! A little while later, you've just been called a winner in a famous comic book publisher's clearinghouse giveaway. Check your resources. Okay. Um, I guess I got a lot of money, but Jesus Christ! I'm making thirty-eight seventy and spending thirty-two twenty-one. Jeez. Who knows? All right, let's have another college experience. I really thought that that would have turned out better. I was all excited, but gamers, it let me down a little. Oh well. Let's see. Let's have a college experience. Oh, it, uh, all college experience have has sexual natures. Sweet. Perry Barber is an acquaintance who has taken a few of the same classes as you. She is a petite brunette with gorgeous green eyes, a nice smile, and a slim athletic body. She approaches you on campus and asks if you'd be interested in helping paint her dormitory room. What will you do? Well. She's pretty hot, and it sounds like she's just trying to get me in her room. So, I can help her paint or pass on an opportunity. If you all go to college, and you pass on opportunities to get some, I'm going to be very angry at you. SKS, the ghost of SKS, will haunt you and come after you. So, we're going to go help her paint. During the course of the afternoon, you get to know one another very well. You work together in close quarters. The room is very small. So a lot of accidental touching and bumping occurs during the day. You aren't sure, but you think Perry is coming on to you. She already invited you to your dorm room, so yeah. Suggest the two of you take a shower. <laughs> Suggest that the two of you shower off together. Ignore any signals that she might be giving you. Again, if you ignore this stuff, I'm going to be mad at you. So suggest it. You are a smooth operator. She accepts, and the two of you take a nice, warm, romantic shower together. I'll leave what comes after the shower to your imagination. Oh yeah, what Ruth doesn't know. Uh, speaking of Ruth, let's have a let's go on a date with her, have an experience. She's feeling left off. Ruth has an annoying habit that gr grates on your nerves. Grates? Really? Grates? Grates? Huh? Whenever you go out to a restaurant, she licks her fingers at the table and sometimes makes loud sucking noises. What do you tend to do about this? Good God! Tell her she is behave behaving like a cavewoman. Gently suggest that she would be more aware of her behavior in public. Leave her alone. Nobody's perfect. Okay. There's a lot of things that I'll deal with in public that girls do. Three things that I won't deal with is a girl smoking, a girl chewing with her mouth open, and I think I've just added sucking her fingers in public like that unless you're at a bar and she's trying to pick you up. So I'm going to gently suggest that she should be more aware of her behavior in public. If it's really that important to you, she'll be happy to make the adjustment. Aw, oh, nice. Let's go to college. Uh, let's have a college experience. During a college vacation break, you bump, in, you, bleh, you bump into a person who used to be a good friend in high school. He chose to skip college and find a job. He is now working as a machine maintenance engineer at a local plant in your own hometown. When you try to converse with him, he seems distant and aloof, almost resentful. I can ask him what's on his mind, or make small talk for a few minutes and walk away. You know what? I'm blunt. I'm going to ask him what's on his mind. He says, what would you care? Besides, you have the easy college life now. What would you, why would, you would never understand my worries. I can either get angry and walk away, or ask him if he wants to tell you about it anyway. I'm not just going to walk away, even though he's a smart ass. I'm, I'm well aware that I'm a smart ass, and you, if you're going to dish it, you have to take it. So, your sincerity causes him to see that he's treated you in a rude fashion. He admits that his life is very difficult now. He has bills to pay and other responsibilities he wa really wasn't ready for. His life is routine, and he gets little enjoyment out of his work. It's understandable. I see a lot of people at the bars on weekends who are just like that. Seeing you sparked some envy in him, but soon your friendship is renewed. He only criticized you because he felt you might be looking down on him because he didn't go to college, a move he regrets now. Your patience brings him down, brings down his defenses and motivates him to take a closer look at his life. That's good. There's a lot of people who, my cousin right now, loving to death, he's 24, 25. He didn't go to college. I'm trying right now to get him motivated so that he'll go to college because I think he can turn his life around and be something positive. So never give up.
Never give up. Trust your instincts, Fox. <laughs> All right. Let's have another college experience. Your philosophy professor is delivering a lecture on the image of today's man. He, he, bleh, he describes the present generation of young adults as morally weak and unable to take a stand. As a teacher, he's probably right. He criticizes them by saying they are apathetic, naive, even misanthropic, concerned with gathering resources and acquiring worldly goods, and unconcerned with the larger issues of truth, existence, and real love. How are you act to such a lecture? Sit quietly and take notes, disagree with him, write his office pompous and bombastic. Why can't I agree with him? He's right. I'm going to sit quietly and take notes. I guess you don't realize that your professor is trying to anger you and the rest of his students for didactic pur pur purposes. Your lack of reaction proves his point about student apathy. Whatever. It didn't give me an option to agree with him. <sighs> Four college credits. I need some more of those. All right. You and your favorite female companion have just spent a night together in the comfort of her dormitory room. You're awakened by a loud ring of the telephone. As you struggle to sound coherent on the phone, you recognize the familiar voices of her parents on the other end of the line. They ask you how you are and say, surprise, we're downstairs and coming right up. Oh, shit. I can panic but try to look natural. Panic and try to make it look like the two of you are just preparing breakfast. Try to get dressed, make the bed, and make it seem like you've been up for hours. Get dressed, but don't try to hide anything from them. Stay in bed and let them see you in your natural state. Okay, these bottom two are a no-no. Um, uh, try to get dressed, make the bed. That's two things you want to do. Make it seem like you've been up for hours. Panic and try to make it look like the two of you are preparing breakfast. I think we're going to try to do the breakfast route. Oh, they wonder if everyone who comes over for breakfast lends their daughter their O football jersey to wear as pajamas. Um, well, I'm sure y'all have dated people before. I've got ex-girlfriends who I know have my old hoodies and stuff like that. Why not? Dun-dun! A little while later, an ex-lover sends you a dozen roses in the mail. Fuck flowers. With it is this note. I was just thinking about you and remembered the time that we made love outside by the lake. That's kind of eerie, because I've done that before. I never really thanked you for it. You were the best. Fuck yeah! SKS! Putting it in there! <laughs> Too bad we couldn't work everything out. We might have made a swell team. Much love. Oh, that's awesome. Can I, can I ride her back? Anything like that? Oh well. Let's continue with college. As a way of making pocket money, one of your friends suggests a tuck-in service. For three dollars, you or your friend will tuck in a female student living in one of the dormitories and read her a bedtime story. Does this sound like something you would like to try? If by tuck in you mean get her drunk on tequila, and by tuck in you mean do her while she's asleep, yes. So we're going to do that. Socially, you have the finesse necessary to convince a young woman to let you into her room and read her a bedtime story. <laughs> <laughs> you have the self-control necessary to stop yourself from jumping under the covers with your clients. As a result, you build up a popular business. Your total earnings from this job are $500. Yeah. All right. We have $28,000. Income per turn is $38.70. Thoughtless spending. Good God, I spend tons of money. I'm only making four gold per turn. Four gold. I've been playing way too many games. Where am I spending it all? You would think with 100 intelligence, I would, but I don't know. I have six college credits, so I need six more, so we're going to finish those up. I'm going to cut this episode off a little short because I'm out of tequila and cranberry, and I'll have to go get some. So, gamers, this has been another episode of Let's Play Alter Ego with SKS. I hope you're enjoying this so far because I'm having a hell of a time. I'm actually going to go get a drink and come back and film some more. So I will talk to you all here in a little bit. Have a good night, gamers.